Hey DCS Wolfpack, uh, this is going to be a video tutorial for the IL-2 1946 sim that we're trying to incorporate uh, into the Wolfpack. Currently we are using uh, DCS, we'll continue to use DCS for the modern stuff, uh, however we feel like IL-2 will provide a much better overall World War II platform. Uh, so it's not just about the DCS P-51 and the new uh, AI FW 190, which which will create some interesting scenarios. It's about the whole package, meaning uh, with IL-2 right now we have uh, almost every theater in, in World War II as far as maps go. Uh, there's close to 300 flyable aircraft and then uh, there's the new uh, jet air that they, they just included. So I'm going to talk to you about starting from scratch, uh, basic uh, IL-2 1946 all the way up to uh, what we call a modified version using HSFX. So to get you started, maybe uh, some of you guys have the original IL-2, maybe you have Pacific Fighters or Aces or whatever the, the second was or uh, uh, Forgotten Countries. What you want to get initially is the IL-2 1946. Now you can buy this, uh, I think it was on Steam, I didn't find it, so I think they might have uh, taken it off. Uh, you probably can go to Amazon.com and find the download. You can buy a hard copy, but you want 1946. I own the original IL-2. I also own Pacific Fighters. And, you know, there's ways that you can mix and match those, but you really want 1946 because it's all of the IL-2 releases that ever came out, including a little bit extra of fictional uh, era, which is the, you know, why the it's called 1946. The World War II ended in 1945. 46 would be a fictional, you know, what if they developed aircraft for another year. So it includes some fictional aircraft. I don't know too many people that actually dive into the fictional aircraft. Uh, it seems like the IL-2 community is, is set on the historical aspects of the sim. Uh, so anyway, go to a website like this, wherever you can get it, 9.99 at GOG.com. Good old games. Uh, I've purchased numerous games from these guys. There's no uh, DRM rates on them. So you can, obviously, you know, you don't want to illegally distribute them but you can uh, install it, you can reinstall it, there's no uh, online check or anything like that. And you get 5.2 gigabytes, just this alone, the base package is incredible. It, you know, IL-2, I think it says right here, five games in one. Uh, IL-2 is easily, it, it's the best World War II flight sim out there. So you want to get this installed, 9.99, you can't beat that price. Uh, and this by itself is, a, is an awesome, awesome deal, okay? Includes the Pacific Fighters, which is the, uh, you know, all the aircraft carriers. Includes the original IL-2 Stormovic series. Uh, and like I said, close to 300 fl flyable planes. Then the second step you want to do, I think this game comes patched up to uh, possibly 4. Point, one of these, 4.8, 4.9, 4.10, something like that. Either way, you want to get this... Uh, 4.10.1 mega patch. Now it includes all of these together and it's it's about a, a gigabyte. Okay. So once you patch up to 4.10.1, the the latest release and this is on missionfortoday.com. I'll put all these links in the description. The latest patch is the 4.11. So you get this downloaded and then you go back and then here's the 4.11 and here's the 4.11.1. This is the version that we're going to be using. 4.11 is about 800 megabytes and the 0.1 patch is, oh, I don't know how big it is, I don't think it's, it's too much though. I think it's just a quick fix. So once you get the base game patched up to 4.11.1, if you have any mods, if you have IL-2 1946 already installed, remove any mods using your, um, your uh, JS this is my install for the for GOG. This is what it looks like, GOG.com. And you just run the installer, installs the entire thing. There's this SAS direct to drive patch uh, that I installed. You might not need that. It might be perfectly fine. Uh, but if you need this, just search for it, um, and you should be good. Oh, here's the point one patch, 64 megabytes, so that's not very big at all. If, um, if I go into my 1946 folder, uh, you want to run this, if you have it running, and disable any mods. That means right to left. You want to disable anything that you have. Okay. 
and it's highly recommended if you've screwed up your installation you know obviously just start from scratch all right so you're patched up to 4.11.1 il2 1946 now you want to install our mod pack which we're going to be using hsfx okay here's the uh download site it's made by 242 squadron thank you guys they work very closely with the modding team uh, I think it's dial dose or something like that the official 1c Maddox IL2 modding team that made the uh, 4.11 patch they work very closely with those guys so the game is extremely stable these guys were the first to use the SFS format and you don't have to know all that all you have to know is you download this and you run the installer okay and I'll show you what the uh, what the installer looks like if I can find it here so here is the uh, patch and the original well I, can't, I don't know where the original install is but it's an executable it'll ask you to guide it to your uh, 1946 installation and it'll install these files so it doesn't overwrite anything on your stock game which is what's cool about it see that all these files hfx hfx these are all called sfs files and they just download right into your main directory it's not affecting your your game at all so you're not going to ruin your game by installing that mod um, the reason we want to use that mod well there's a lot of reasons and it'll probably take too long to to get into all of them um, but the this one it actually includes the uh, jet error which we're going to be using later on okay um, the the updates for HSFX it includes a basic uh, plutonium effects package which updates the smoke effects uh, makes the tracers uh, look pretty good and uh, just the overall look of the game high definition terrain textures um, you're adding a flyable you know B17 P51 uh, career error uh, there's the, there's the tiger moth in there there's lots of aircraft that are extremely well made and, and what this is it's a compilation of mods um, so it's a mod pack and they just take the best of what's out there interesting thing about HSFX I was a big ultra pack uh, user and I think it's great however ultra pack 3 does not use AI modifications ultra pack 2.0 did change the AI what that what that means is the if you remember the original AI in IL2 the uh, AI would zoom climb you could you could go head to head the AI would zoom climb to the moon basically and uh, just continue climbing beyond your reach you could be flying a higher performance aircraft FW190 versus a P40 for instance and you could not outclimb that P40 the reason for that is that the AI flies absolutely perfectly uh, they're completely coordinated in their turns they're streamlined and their engine doesn't overheat that was the original AI and it was an immersion killer for everybody I think HSFX has gone to great lengths to not only uh, give you an AI upgrade, which Ultra Pack 3.0 just doesn't have any AI enhancements. They weren't able to to uh, modify 3.0 to include those enhancements. Uh, HSFX changes the way the AI performs. So instead of zoom climbing, the AI uh, engines do overheat. They do perform panic maneuvers uh, where they can spin out uh, depending on their level of proficiency. Uh, they or depending on you know how how you're engaging them they can panic and completely uh, do a stupid turn or they can fly very smartly it's an incredible just immense upgrade to the AI and it makes the game um, it makes the sim what it should have been from the beginning so hats off to you guys um, so AI improvements the other thing that HSFX does is uh, uh, I already told you about the plutonium effects and uh, improves the effects gives you uh, some added maps gives you some added planes uh, and I think I think I'm forgetting something in regard to HSFX let's look at some of this stuff uh, it does add the jet error package like I said earlier um, so it's it's a great uh, improvement the big thing is AI for me and oh, I'm sorry it's it's very streamlined it runs incredibly fast they've optimized IL2 very good so uh, you want to get the 6.0 uh, and you want to get the 6.0.1 patch do not get the uh, so you will just want to go up to here patch one don't get the micro fixes don't get the auto updater we're just going to use the last stable version 6.0.1 of HSFX and my video recording time is ending so 
I'll see you in the next video.